But they are trying. Because once our chairperson from Osaka City was made to home, and we are grateful that he, he claimed to for us that he would not like with us. We will send him away. Um, the deputy intern chief officer and his deputy. Yes. We have been having gaps on our metros. When we started asking them to explain, they can't explain properly. They can't explain. The metros? She's 24. The standard says 30. Are you aware? What level of education? For the metro? She completed the same thing. You have heard from the director standards that a metron is supposed to sleep at night. Yeah, come here and adjust this one. No, let them adjust. Yes. Come here. Yes, first here. Just a few. Yeah, I think we can do it here. Mary, yeah. let them bring the Yeah, call, the, call, call the director yeah, we'll or the teacher the and it's the, the yes. that is that mm. machine and we just cut. Yeah, we shall not wait for them to cut. Cut the IP. Yeah. And the purpose of this message is really for the school to use this money for restoration purposes uh, and also to uh, buy the properties that were uh, burnt, the, the learner's property and some of the school property like the beds, and also to ensure that the environment is safe for our learners and we shall support the, the school management in providing those standards that we require. And we have also pledged to come back to inspect to ensure that they comply with those safety standards using these resources that have been provided. 50 million shillings to the school management. And three for the purpose for which we have indicated. Director. 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 Schools where we still have bungalow proofing and we are wondering. So when there is a fire, how does a four-year-old get out of a fire with bungalow proofing on the window? So we, we really want to appeal to, to our private providers 
that they should help us comply. Let us work together to ensure that there is safety in our schools. And um, the minister has um, provided um, one medium to those that are injured. And, and we shall continue to monitor them. And uh, five million shillings to those that are bereaved. And um, we also have a contribution of 50 million shillings to the school to, to enforce those measures that we have indicated to ensure that they restore the school back to the standards that we want and we shall come back to inspect, ensure that the school is compliant. And we also want to urge parents not to remove their children from schools. We have had these incidences. When there is a, an accident like this, parents come and take away their children from the schools. We, we encourage you. The accidents happen. And we don't know, even the next school you may take your learner to, the same thing would happen. So let us work together, parents, school management, the ministry, the district and all stakeholders, to ensure that we have safe learning environments to our learners. Removing them from the schools is not a solution. Things that we needed to have done, as Minister of Education and Sports, we developed the basic requirements and minimum standards, with 13 standards. This 12th standard talks about safety and security in schools, and the 13th standard talks about management of boarding schools. Uh, we will study this report, <coughs> which the Municipal Education Officer has written, but we'll also come back to carry our own independent um, uh, inspection to actually establish whether we met the basic requirements or not, and see how together we can work and make sure that we don't repeat some of these um, incidences. And Madam P.S., I think after we have uh, done a thorough inspection here, we'll also have an opportunity to meet all teachers, head teachers, so that we communicate to them and we're in the same page. Um, it is, I would also want to request that these children should, be, should undertake psychosocial support. <coughs> because uh, I'm very, very urgently a uh, municipal education officer. I think it's not okay. The head teacher was saying they are okay, they are not okay. Even you who are part of this school plus your teachers also need to go through this therapy. I request that the reports come out. As I, as I said, we've got fire twice at Blessed Sacrament and at Chiman. Even up to now, the reports are noted out. We don't know what happened. We tried to fold it up, but time came when we had to, to stop. At the, at the police, for instance, for the fire of, of St. Jude, we were trying to find out who did what. The following day, we found all the police, police persons who were in charge of our files were transferred that night. All of them. And we had nowhere to start, and I had to drop the case. It pained me, and I say paining me, because the effect of fire at St. Jude, we are still experiencing it. That being that my massacre became a city, there are so many schools, there are so many businesses, not even schools alone, but we need fire brigades. At the police there, I find one, and sometimes we find it empty, without fire, without water. Now that it has gone to the status of a city, it means that the businesses are now many, schools have increased, the hospital and everything. We request that we add on the number of fire brigades to save life and the property. And um, work together with the district. Here, first of all, we, come, we are coming back to have an independent inspection and really get to the details. What could have happened, what standards did they flout, and then now we can hold maybe the school accountable. But also we want to ensure that we'll talk to all head teachers of massacre. 
uh, you've had uh, when they were giving us a brief that there have been a lot of incidences around massacre and we disseminate these standards once again. Um, you also recall that PS already wrote a circular citing the same standards. So the challenge is that most schools are really not complying. For example, we are having triple decas. We are not supposed to have them. You can see them for yourselves. You can see right behind you there is burglar proofing. Our dormitories are not supposed to have burglar proofing so that in case of an emergency or a crisis, our learners can escape. But with an environment like this where there is burglar proofing, a four year old, seven year old cannot escape, even an adult, even me myself. Only. So most of our problems are compliance, and this is a private school. And, and unfortunately, or fortunately, really, most of our schools are private schools. So we are, we are really rethinking how we are going to manage private schools. A matron should be 30 years. Uh, and should have um, uh, the education uh, qualification as a primary, really should have completed primary. So we have realized that there is also a gap there. Maybe our private schools don't know because we realize in this case the metro was 24 and uh, it appears the school did not know. So maybe on our part also we should sensitize and provide that information to our private providers so that they comply really with our standards. accident to take Masaka <laughs> I did the Mitchell Minister, Kwango, where I woke Minister at Mani Tiawa. I think another minister, where I go better, I don't know if it was a government, Gafa Massacre, and Timusobodo could joke to Zamama, Fibavanam Sambu, Chin to Chinene, Nyo, Changunyo, Yokumuga, Guma, name when I'm Manchester Geza, the Tukwebaza, it was Z, 